Uh, I'm going to show you some uh, Dead Reckoning here that I've been working on. Uh, I call it Stage 1 of Dead Reckoning. It's not the greatest, but I'll show you the before and after of what I had. Um, this is to minimize traffic coming from the clients, going to other clients or the server. Um, it also will kind of smooth movement when the players go running around the map um, so they look a little bit more realistic instead of seeing a player jump around um, you know like he's a pinball a pinball machine so this is the server it's up and running right now save some time um, let me fire up the client here this is before dead reckoning stage one stage one is in quotes I haven't perfected it yet so when you're the client you get to log in here I'll log in as my main character Garrett with a password to password connect up you'll notice that the server up here and it will show you that the client is logging in and if we click on the server there should be a pl oh, there's a player right there so the player logs in and uh, the server will see the new client so now that we have the client logged in you'll see on the client he doesn't have anything in his hands. Don't mind the shadows. I'm still working on the shadows. They're not the greatest yet. Um, so let me equip something in the client's hand. We'll go to my inventory. Put a stick in there. Oh, you know what? There is something in there. It's not updated. Let me update it here. I have to write initial code to initialize the uh, items in the player's hand. Just take it out. Put it back in. All right, and you'll notice now that the client has weapons in their hand. So let me show you how this before. Actually, let me show you how they moved around before stage one of Dead Reckoning. So this is going to update once every 30 frames. You'll notice the client jumps around. It's pretty bad. It's pretty choppy. Animations are still there, but it's nonetheless very choppy. You'll see it's jumpy. It's not something you should usually see in a game. The um, traffic is minimal. You'll see here data in is zero bytes for the server. Every once in a while it'll jump up a little bit higher when the client sends his position. And the data out is only 68 bytes, now 85 bytes, but for the most part it's very, very small. Back to the client. I'll show you what he's sending. Since he's not moving, it should be very low. He's getting information from the server right now, 68 bytes, and data out is 0 bytes. Let me move around a bit. This should move up a bit, but not too much. You'll see, what, 57 bytes is max? That's not bad for player position, and that's once every 30, 30 frames. So to enhance this, I added, uh, like I said, stage 1 of Dead Reckoning, and let me change the code here for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, just bear with me. I have to change some code in my server and client scripts here. This is the new script here that I've been working on. And as for my dead reckoning, I'm not doing anything uh, too advanced, pretty much getting a position and sliding him from point to point. The animation, I still have to work on to perfect that. It's not a big deal. I also have coded in if the client's moving too fast, the server will pick that up if he's, uh, if he's running some kind of speed hack. Um, because before I had it checking on the client side, but unfortunately, since he had the speed hack, all the functions were running much faster than normal. Um, basically that gave that application priority and it just I, I could never tell so hopefully I have that fixed now um, let me compile this up and run it with the new dead reckoning code oh, you know what I have to turn off the client server Uh, happy 
these errors I don't understand on why they creep up, but it still works. Alright, so let me fire up the server. I have to copy the script files over to the new client folder. You'll notice that the client and the server are running on the same machine right now. Um, I did do tests over the internet. It was a little bit more choppy, but uh, this should hopefully fix it up, this uh, dead reckoning code. You may not notice it too much locally, um, but when you're playing online, you can certainly see the choppiness. You'll notice when my level loads up, the terraformed information will load as well, especially when you're crossing zones if you're a client. So let me move this up here. We'll fire up the client. You'll see a new client connected. Login is Garrett again. Client logged in. Client's loading. This is telling me that this player is moving too fast right now. The reason for that is because he's loading up. His original position was 0, 0, 0 in the XYZ. And he loaded up with his position right there. So let me see if this is still... Alright, my chat, you'll notice I stopped it, and it's not telling me that he's moving too fast right now. When the server recognizes that a player's moving too fast, pretty much all the time, he's obviously running some type of speed hack. So let me, um, let me initialize the client with something in his hand so you can kind of see that. Uh, I'll fix this later. Alright, so now that we have something in the client's hand, the server does recognize that. And you'll see there, got some shadows on those items. It's got a stick and a hammer. And now let's watch the uh, code for the Dead Reckoning, stage one. It's going to be a little bit behind, but that's the way it's got to be. You'll see the movement is much smoother. It's still a few frames behind, but You'll notice on the top window there, this is acceptable. Data that's being sent is very minimal. It's down what we saw before. It's the same type of, uh, it's sending their position once every 30 frames. But you'll notice that on the internet, it's going to be worse than what you see here. Um, so this dead reckoning should resolve that issue. <clears throat> Worst case scenario is that, you know, you're only going to be 30 frames behind when watching a player, but it's not going to make a big deal because 30 frames equals out to maybe a second depending on how many frames per second you're getting so this is what I have now you'll see the player sliding around when he stops moving this is one thing I want to fix um, but for now it, it should be okay and you'll notice that on the server the clients actually not moving very fast at all he's not using a speed hack so it's still a little bit choppy I, I want to perfect a little bit more but this is certainly way better than what I had before. Um, I'll show you what happens when a player does use a speed hack. Since Garrett's a GM, put into GM, GM run mode. You can only run this if you're a GM. So now that we're running around like this, you'll notice on the server it says Garrett's moving too fast. The server will recognize that, and if you're not a GM, it will crank you. So, you'll see the client still running around like that and pretty fast. Let me turn off GM run mode. So it should be back. Oh, you know what? I can't turn it off. I'm going to have to fix that too. But anyway, you'll notice that the dead reckoning is, stage one at least, is a lot better than what I showed you the first time around. Um, and the weapons, they will stay equipped with the player. And the Dead Reckoning code I wrote actually is very small. Let's go to player control. Let me turn off this client. It's going to lag it up. Turn off the server. Okay. Uh, the Dead Reckoning code is actually very simple. This down to this line is just for Dead Reckoning and keeping the client's tools.